the cowbell. It's it's like rock secret weapon, man. I mean, it's it's been around for I don't know a long time, like five thousand years. Well, I mean, not as a rock instrument, of course. It's worn by by cows, and before that, they were made out of like clay and stuff. But then, you know, they discovered metal, and you know, metal. You know, then then that's when things started really happening. Well, not right away. It, it took a few thousand years, but until it went from being metal to like metal, you know what I mean? I, I've been playing the bell. I've been belling, if you will. I've been doing that a long time. Been doing that since uh, about 93, 94. Started off playing the snare drum and, and I, the bell, man, it just it just clung to me. It, it was like I discovered myself when I discovered the bell, you know what I mean? I mean, it was like I was like this guy over here and then I became like this guy right here. I mean, so many great songs, so many great musicians and artists have incorporated the bell, you know, Nazareth, and Edgar Winter, Aerosmith, Def Leppard, Jethro Tull, Santana, and of course, the, the, the national anthem of the cowbell, if you will, Mountain, you know, Mississippi Queen. What would we be like today without those songs? I mean, our culture wouldn't be, well, well it would probably be pretty much the same, but it, you know, you know what I'm saying? It, we wouldn't have certain uh, references to certain songs you know we where, where would we be without the expression more cowbell you know what i mean blue oyster cult you know fear the reaper i mean that's where it all started well it didn't start there it started you know like i said like five thousand years earlier but so yeah this is my uh this is my favorite this is one this has been with me since the start really i mean it I mean, it's got some wear and tear on it, but, uh, you know, she's, she's still in good shape. Kind of like me, a little bit ugly, but rocks pretty good stuff. You know, one time the, the, the cowbell was actually considered like a solo instrument. You know, it wasn't like an accessory or a, a timekeeper. It, it was a solo thing, you know, and I'll oh, do a little bit. Oh, yeah, I can do a little bit. This, this comes from like way south, south, um, like Ireland, I think, or something like that. I, I don't know. Yeah, hear the sustain of that? It just goes. So we were on tour in, uh, I want to say it was like 97, 98, I don't know, I, I kind of stopped wearing a watch during that time, so I, I kind of lost track of days and weeks and months and stuff. And we've been out on the road like a long time, you know, and, and I'm out there rocking the bell, and I come down with this nasty case of carpal tunnel syndrome. It wasn't my hidden hand, it was my, my holding hand, you know, the, the way the way you play the bell, you know, and, and you got your holding hand. Turns out I uh, got carpal tunnel in that hand from peeling gum off of seats when we went to concerts and stuff. It's kind of a disgusting habit. I'm kind of ashamed to admit it. I'm kind of moving on from that. I always used my left hand because I just felt like it has better dexterity at digging the gum out and stuff. So I can get carpal tunnel. I can't hold the bell. What am I going to do, right? One of the guys on the road crew comes up with this harness and he comes up and he says man I got it figured out he said here wear this thing and uh, the marching cowbell was born and we started seeing the potential for this you know the, the marching bands the drum corps nobody had marched the bell so we totally went to market with it we totally took this thing and, and ran with it you know we, we knew all the, the big cores would run with this and it'd be you know one of those big things and uh, it turns out there's there's just something to, to holding the bell, something to holding it. At least that's what the people in marketing told us. That you know, I, I really think what it boils down to is just no support from the community. You know what I mean? There's just the music community wasn't there for us. You know, there's a lesson in that. But, you know, don't leave your musicians standing out in the field. Actually, I guess you want them standing out on the field when they're marching. That that makes it good. But. Uh, you know, go out and go out and show some sport for your for your marching bands. You know, you don't want to leave them hanging out there. You know, that's it's real important. You know, take that from a guy who's got a you know a little bit of a little bit of a pain in here. From you know, we really wanted to march the bell, but uh, you know what? We, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave the the bell where it belongs. You know, left hand on the bell, right hand on the stick. Yeah, got some of that for you. Huh? You want some more of that?
more cowbell. <laughs>